This month's market report is brought to you by Caffeine. It's what all of us real estate professionals need in this slow and boring market. My name is Rachel Sartain, Tim Penny, and I've been a real estate professional in the Tampa Bay area for over 22 years now. I'm also the broker owner of the Tim Penny Collection, and I'm excited to bring you this month's market report. Since I've already told you the numbers are slow and boring, let's dive into them and see who's benefiting from this market and who has the potential to benefit. We're going to break down the numbers that were provided to us by our local board of realtors. Now, these are July 2024 numbers, but they give us a great reference point to know where we are and where we're heading. So the average sales price in Pinellas County, St. Pete, Clearwater area was about $640,000. So you can find a much more affordable home over in the Tampa side where the average sales price was only 414,000. The thing I found most interesting about July's numbers is the lack of numbers. So typically we have more residential sales between May and August than any other time in the year in the Tampa Bay area. However, July's numbers were really low and I actually haven't seen a July this low. If you look at the number of units sold in Hillsborough and Pinellas County in 2023, it was down 31% compared to 2019. So why does this even matter? During the COVID years, there was an influx into the Tampa Bay area. So our population increased significantly, but the number of homes we sold has not increased. So what are all of these buyers doing? They're sitting on the sidelines and they're waiting for interest rates to drop. Interest rates have remained high for the last two years. However, we have seen them coming down and down and down. And with the recent Fed meeting, we're expecting them to drop lower. This morning when I checked, the average national 30-year fixed mortgage was only 6.38%. Also, during this time, sellers have gotten frustrated. They don't want their homes just sitting on the market with no one looking at it. We've seen an increased number of sellers pulling their homes off the market. Actually, it's about 30% of the new listings each week are coming off of the market. Homeowners that don't have to sell are deciding not to sell, and they're going to wait until buyers are ready. So what does this mean for you, and why should you consider purchasing a home now? Well, if you wait until interest rates drop, you're going to be in the crowd. You're going to wait for the masses to run out to buy a home because finally they feel like it's more affordable. Right now, you have so much negotiation power because the activity is slow. So not only can you negotiate price, you can also get incentives or credits. You can ask the seller to pay for things that normally they wouldn't be willing to pay for. And if you're a seller who needs to sell in this market, you can. However, there's a lot more competition. In July, the inventory was up a whopping 111% compared to July of 2023. So if you're looking to sell or you need to sell, your home has to stand out from the competition. The best way to do that is make sure that you've made all the repairs necessary to your home, that it's staged and it looks perfect, and that you have a competitive marketing strategy in order to get your home in front of the most number of buyers in the least time possible. When we talk about a slow market, most people think that home prices are depreciating. And I just want to let you know that your home values have not gone down. Actually, what we've done is we've gone back to a normal market of three to 4% annualized appreciation. While the current pace of the market has slowed significantly, I believe there is a resurgence on the horizon. We continue to have a net population gain here in Tampa Bay, and these people have to live somewhere. And yes, right now they probably are renting, but as interest rates drop, they're gonna be looking to buy a home. So how is this gonna affect our market? Well, the competition's gonna shift. Right now, sellers have a lot of competition, but as soon as interest rates drop, buyers are going to have competition from other competing buyers. If you are thinking about buying a home as soon as interest rates drop, don't wait. Go ahead and do it now. The price reduction that you get on the home that you want will actually probably make up for the lower interest rate that you're expecting. Plus, you can always refinance down the road. Yes, I'm a real estate agent and I want to help you buy a home. However, what I don't want to see is I don't want to see you overpay for a home because you waited too long. Right now is the time to get out there and start looking. As you can tell, I'm passionate about real estate. I probably speak it in my sleep. And I would love to hear from you and get your take on what's happening in today's real estate market world and what you expect in the future. Again, my name is Rachel Sartain Timpenny. Thank you for tuning in for this month's market report. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.